Hi, Jeffrey Langloy, Langloy's Vital Nutrition Center here in Brookfield, Wisconsin. Our mission is to help you improve your health naturally. Uh, this uh, video is about what to do or what to know if you don't have your gallbladder. So uh, here's a nice little image here of your gallbladder. And um, it's very tiny. It's actually tucked up underneath your liver there. It's a little sac over here. It's a little hard to find a great picture, but your liver is very large and your gallbladder. Now your gallbladder is this little pouch that uh, sometimes gets clogged up with stones and the doctor removes it, which is, it, it could be good or bad. Um, you know, you don't want to die from a rupture or be in the hospital in the middle of the night with a surgery, an emergency surgery. But the point here is, is you have a, a pouch, the gallbladder, and then you have behind the gallbladder into the liver over a hundred miles of like tree roots. So think of the gallbladder as the trunk of the tree. And then think of all the roots underneath the ground that go into and throughout the liver, collecting the bile. So bile is amazing substance that your body uses to collect toxins in your liver and put them in the bile and store them in the gallbladder. So even though they removed the primary congestion point, you still have all these roots of the gallbladder in your liver collecting bile. The problem when you don't have a gallbladder now is, so the point of the gallbladder is, is when you eat food and you have fat in your food, your body secretes the bile to help you digest the food. So it's amazing substance because it helps you to detoxify your liver. And at the same time, it is a fat dissolving substance into your intestines, but your gallbladder will hold on to it until the food is there and then it will release the bile into the food to help you break down the fats. It also stimulates peristalsis. So people that have constipation issues, a lot of times don't have enough bile, which can be other issues, lack of water, lack of exercise, lack of tone, poor posture, but you have lack of bile and bile stimulates that contraction of the muscles. So doctor takes out your gallbladder. Now what you get is you don't get good fat digestion with your meals. So what you need to do, um, there is a great product by Standard Process called Colacol. And Colacol, here I'm just highlighting in here for you, um, is actually bile salt. So you actually supply the body with bile to help you digest your fats. You need to digest your fats because your body is made, parts of your body are made out of fat. Also your fat soluble vitamins for your immune system, your brain, your eyes, um, could go on and on. The point here is why you need bile, why you are missing your gallbladder, and even, uh, so also enzymes. Um, this, is, this is actually my personal favorite is uh, I like the Loomis enzymes a lot. Uh, Premier Research makes some good ones. These have lipase in them to enhance fat digestion. So if you've had your gallbladder removed, you definitely need to add something to help you digest fats. That would be number one. Um, if, if, um, if you have your gallbladder, then um, a lot of times it, it can be congested in giving you problems like belching and burping and not digesting your fat. So uh, the topic of this was, I guess, more uh, what you need to know if you've had your gallbladder removed. So you need to make sure you're digesting your fats. That is what you need to know. You're going to need to supplement a supplement in order to help you digest your fats, okay? Um, oh, and if you've had your gallbladder removed, you still, you, we've talked about before that we don't get people here with liver disease, but we get people here, in fact, everybody here that would be a client or works here has liver congestion. So uh, our livers are not optimally healthy. So even though the gallbladder is removed, you probably still have those, those roots of the tree are still clogged up. Things that are very good for that, one of the best things is beet juice. Beet juice is fantastic for thinning 
the bile and helping kind of clean the liver. Uh, artichoke is good. Bitter foods, dandelion, anything bitter is very good for sort of cleaning the liver bile little pathways to get the junk out of the liver. All right. Uh, remember to keep score. Uh, get your hair test. Uh, the latest is the Omega test. That's another awesome test. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.